Is he breaking up with us? All right, so hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, by the time we're doing another episode, guys, what happened in the last one? Oh yeah, we had to tell our um our um guy person thing about what happened about the threats happening, Holland, and yeah. So we're gonna find out what's gonna happen in today's episode and see the teen drama. So let's just jump into it and see what drama we're in today, cause there's always something. So let's. Get into it, okay. Jules, um, hey, what happened? You must have woken up early. Isn't today the only day you don't have football training? Jules, did you text? Mm. Oh my God, I'm stressed. Did you text my father about the text I've been getting? Mm. Caught in 4K, yikes. Abort mission, abort mission. Admit text that you leaked, deny, deny, deny. There's no point in lying. I'm just gonna tell him. Okay, yes, I did tell your father about the threats. But hold on, it's only because I care about you and- It wasn't your decision to make, Jules. Okay, <laughs> listen. <laughs> I don't need you getting mad at us for protecting you, okay? You're acting like a child right now. I was gonna tell them when I was ready. When you were ready, what, when it was too late and you were already kidnapped and they were using you as leverage? That's when you would've been ready? Yeah, I have to go. He's so annoying. <laughs> Go where? I just need some space to think, Jules. You know what? Take all the space you need. We're done. We're done. I'm, I mean, I'm like a small inconvenience. I'm like, we're done. Hold on. Morning, man. How was your... Uh, uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hold on, wait up. I'm sorry. Oh, friggity frack. Not this again. Please don't do anything to us. Do you stand outside in the hallway every morning waiting for something dramatic to happen? Not always, but things have certainly gotten a lot more dramatic since you arrived on campus, Stuart. Okay, that's rude. Holden's departure had left me feeling as though there was a gaping hole in my stomach that couldn't be filled. The guilt that came with last night's decision made me nauseated. But I did my job and that was the ultimate goal, right? Ugh, why did this have to be so complicated? Jules freaking Stuart, if you don't open this door, I'm coming in. I really didn't expect that to be open. Why haven't you been answering your phone? Oh, sweet baby Jesus, what are you wearing? It's Holden's sweatshirt. He gave it to me on our first day of college. Yeah, but why are you wearing it? It's kind of ugly. Why was I wearing it? Why was it the first thing I grabbed out of my closet after he left? It makes me feel close to him. Oh my God, this is so dramatic. I could still smell the scent on it, and as much as I didn't want to admit it, it made me feel safe. That has to be the most sickeningly sweet thing I've ever heard, Jules Stewart. Why are you here, Chen? Tanner's really nervous about his mission and wants us both there to see him off. OMG, I forgot he leaves today. I've been so caught up with everything with Holden that I haven't been the greatest friend recently. He'll forgive you if you just come with me and say bye to him with me. You're right, I know he'd do the same for me if I was the one leaving. Tanner really needs us. Will you come to the airport with me? Duh, I'll go to the airport. No, just text him, have a safe flight. <laughs> I guess I'll go. Whatever, he'll get us out of the house, right? Yay, now take off that holy love hoodie and change to something that won't embarrass me in public. Looking great, Chica. Let's go surprise Tana at the airport. I must say, sir, you are leaving all this to the last minute. Your flight is already boarding. Perhaps I could escort you personally to your seat? No need, I can find it myself. Please have my babies. What the hell? Tanner! I can't believe you guys came. You're here. We came to see you off. I really appreciate it. And you made it before my plane starts boarding. Even if we hadn't, I'm sure the plane wouldn't wait for a federal agent who can't leave without saying bye to his best friends. I'll miss you guys. We'll miss you too. We'll now begin to board the flight for SV0817. Well, this is it. The captain will have contact details for me in Portugal. Stay safe, agent. Copy that. Okay, a new text message from who? SOS girls. What's going on? The dean wants us to meet in his office in 30 minutes. For what? Oh crap, is this about me stealing his wallet the other- You stole his wallet? Tori, WTF. Don't worry, not important. Jules, Meredith, will you guys be there? I've never been called to the dean's office before, but yes, I'll be there. At the airport, but we'll be there soon. This can't be good. Can you take me back to Seacrest College? I have somewhere I need to be. Sorry, I know I'm late. Any idea why I've been called into the dean's office? No, none. Any idea why I've been called into the dean's office? Okay, someone's in a mood, clearly. Wow, speak of being on the same wavelength, Jules was said the exact same thing. You two are so perfect. Mm, guys, not the time. Oh no, oh no. Did I hit a nerve? Big time. The dean would like to say Abigail Johnson, Rose Emerson, Jules Stewart from the Seacrest Phillies. Along with Buck Henley, Dean Hutcherson, and Holden Chris from the Stallions. Oh crap, I know what this is about. Yep, me too. Trespassing, theft, and destruction of property? Are you all out of your goddamn minds? You know how I said that sneaking onto VCU's campus and liberating their comet statue was a bad idea? It turns out that I was right. No surprise there. Dean Hobson, with all due respect, we have no idea what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. Don't play stupid with me, Henley. The Dean of Venus Cove University has security footage of you sneaking on campus. <laughs> He's bringing it to my office tomorrow to confirm that you were the individuals in the video. What happens if we aren't the individuals shown in the footage? Then no further action will be taken. But if you are, heads will roll. 
Heads will roll. Okay. What happened between you and Jules? I thought everything was going great between you. What do you think is happening in there? All right, fine. You don't want to talk about it, but please at least listen to me, Holden. I've never seen you look at anyone the way you look at Jules. There are a lot of people faking happiness out there, Holden, and I can tell that you, when you're around her that you aren't one of those people. She makes you genuinely happy. Isn't that enough? What if she isn't everything that meets the eye? When are any of us exactly the way people think we are? Jules is an incredible person and you know that. She makes you feel vulnerable and you're trying to cover it up with stubbornness. It's okay to be vulnerable, Holden, especially if it's with someone you really care about. I can't believe I'm having this conversation with my sister. Okay, walk away real, real good. Real, real. Mm -hmm. Wait, where are you going? Don't you want to see what's happening? Men things with Jules? I just think I need some time to be vulnerable like you said, Meredith. All right, is it just me or did someone else's future flash before their eyes when Buck said he'd take care of things? It wasn't just you. What happened in there? Are you guys okay? We're fine for the moment. But if we can't get our hands on that video footage, we won't be. Hold up, you're seriously thinking about breaking into VCU again to steal the footage? It's the only way. Fine, I'm in. <laughs> if anyone's gonna do it, it's us. <laughs> Meredith, do you wanna come along for the ride? Do not bring her into this, please. No. No, 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 no. I am so in it. No, you're not. Girl, mm-mm. Well, I for one am loving this side of you, Meredith. Let's head back to the dorms and come up with a plan. Okay, I just got off the phone with my insider at VCU. Insider? I have a cousin who goes there. Anyway, the tape should be in the security office, which is constantly under guard. If there's only one guard, one of us could seduce him and lure him away while the others erase the tape. I like it. Sounds like we have ourselves a plan, girl. Let's go. Um, don't you think we should change? We're literally all head to toe wearing Seacrest College attire. It'll be a dead giveaway if we walk into VCU's security room wearing our Seacrest blue. You're right. Not to mention this is a secret mission. Oh God. Here we go. Which means we need to dress like it's a secret mission. Now you're thinking like a federal agent, Abigail. What are you thinking? Um, actually, I have no idea. Has anyone ever done a secret mission before? <laughs> Not us. <laughs> I have some ideas. How about sorority girls? Oh God, okay. What do we got here? Wow, pretty in pink. Sexy cat blur. Oh my, are you s Guys, yeah, because the heels aren't gonna make a dead giveaway at all. If we want to get that footage, we need to dress the part. This, we'll just go with the sorority, okay? It's it's fine, because these cat ears aren't working for me. Now we're ready. Oh God, okay, I'm scared. All right, Abigail's insider was right. There's one security guard in there and it looks like he just started a shift. If we can get him to leave the room, it should be easy to sneak in there and erase the tape. So who's drawing the short straw and luring him out? My vote is for Jules since seducing the guard was her idea. Meredith, oh, fine, I can do it. Go get him, girl. Okay, yeah, we can definitely do this. Another night of zero legal activities, typical. Excuse me? Hey, Shade. I was wondering if you could help me. Tonight must be my lucky night. Yeah. What can I do for you, miss? I lost my ring in the campus park and I can't find it anywhere. Perhaps you could help me search for it. I'm not supposed to leave this room while I'm on duty. Please. On second thought, I'm sure we'll be fine for just a few minutes. Hook, line, and sinker. Are you sure this is where you lost it, miss? I'll be so disappointed if I can't find it. My grandmother gave it to me on her deathbed and it felt like as though I'd let her down. Don't worry, I'm sure we'll find it. Hurry up, guys. Have you erased the footage yet? Almost, Rose is deleting the last security footage now and we're done here. There's no proof that we were ever at VCU. See you soon, Jules. Copy that. I really appreciate your help, but I've got to be somewhere else. What about the ring? Ciao! <laughs> Women. As soon as we arrived back to Seacrest College campus, we collapsed into fits of laughter. As far as friends went, I had only had three close ones that I could rely on. But now since beginning my fake life here at Seacrest College, I found myself a close set of girlfriends, something I never imagined occurring. Can I steal you for a moment, Jules? Sure, hold in. Have fun, sister. That's a lot of pink. Do I even want to know what you girls were up to? Probably not. Meredith looks like she's fitting in well with the cheer team. Yeah, she seems like she's really enjoying it. That's good, really good. His voice trails off and his eyes are looking at the ground. From the look on his face, I knew what he was about to say wasn't good. Hold on, whatever you're trying to say, just say it. You know you can tell me anything. You see, Jules, that was my first mistake thinking that. Okay, I see where you're um, really just going into it. The attack mode, all right. He takes a deep calculated breath. Jules, when I met you, I couldn't stop thinking about you. Your voice, your body, your personality, everything about you is unbelievably perfect. Okay, that's your mistake right there. Why would you think we were perfect? Okay, that gives us no room. Which makes this next part so hard. What? I, we, is he breaking up with us? He is, he's breaking up with us. I know what he's trying to say and as much as it hurts, I know that this reason is legitimate. I broke his trust. You're right, I haven't said anything. Hold on, we both know that tonight we're gonna go our separate ways. That's why you came to find me, isn't it? His eyes fail to meet mine, which is why I'm gonna make this easy on you. <gasps> oh my God, I'm not no. In another life, perhaps we could be, but we both know that now isn't the right time. Holden Cruz, you have no idea how much I mean that. 
Oh my god, no, not me going and cry, bye. In another life, I could have just been a college student who fell for the college quarterback or two people who hit things off at a bar. And in that life, this, this could have worked. Oh no, I'm so sad right now. <laughs> my hand traces the line along his chest as he inhales. You are so goddamn beautiful, Jules. I'm sorry. Me too. <laughs> you don't need to apologize, Holden Cruz. Holden, you don't know how much this is hurting me. How much it hurts that I can't have a normal relationship with a person as incredible as you. I know this is some mission, but f these feelings are real. I'll just be the girl that you pass in the hallway or see on the cheer team. Nothing more. I can see tears brimming in his eyes just as they are mine. Oh my god, no! One trickles down my cheek, catching his eye. <gasps> what? What the hell? How can they go from- <laughs> They went from breaking up to kissing? I'm so confused. What? He turns me around and takes my face in his hands. Falling for him was a mistake because this is, makes it so hard. This kiss isn't intense or romantic. It's passionate, full of longing, but it's also a goodbye. Bye. Okay. And there goes my heart. From now on, he will just be someone I protect while keeping my distance. Goodbye, holding crows. Oh my god. I feel like I just like am missing a piece of me now. As soon as I got home, I threw myself on my sofa and cried. This was a different type of pain that I had never experienced. Is this what it felt like to truly have your heart broken? I cried until the sun's first rage peeked through at the night sky, and even though my tears had stopped, my heart was so heavy with the pain that came from losing Holden Cruz. Weeks had passed since Holden and I had amicably parted ways, and we still hadn't spoken since that night. I had written up numerous texts wanting to tell him everything, why we wouldn't work, why we would never work. But each time, I deleted the message. I had to because it was still my job to protect him. The mission wasn't over. My routine every day was the same. Attend to your practice in the morning at the same time as the football team. As he's flirting other girls, okay, that's nice. He's just, yeah. Attend my college classes and try to distract my throat from the infinite numbers of girls that threw themselves at him. Trying to keep a neutral look on my face was a challenge. In the afternoon, I tail Holden while keeping my distance to make sure he was safe. This is so sad. This is really sad. We're just watching him from a really far distance. And when he decided to go for a late night run, I was right there behind him. You know, in a total less creepy way than it sounds. But as the time went on, I had started to feel like my old self, not the lovesick puppy I'd fallen for someone who was off limits. You being sad all the time is making me sad, Jules. I'm sorry, I'll cheer up, starting today. I can't continue this mission like this anyways. Goodbye, romance fueled college student Jules Stewart, and welcome back, Agent Stewart, and your ice queen reputation. You've got this. You're a badass FBI agent who doesn't have feelings. Hey, you're Holden's crew's ex-girlfriend, right? Yeah. Oh, great. That makes us easier. Do you think you can give me his number? Are you kidding me right now? Get a hint, girl. No. He's so secret about who has his details. You want me to give you Holden's number? Oh, heck no. A little help. Sure, he's single after- Absolutely not. Abigail, a little help here, because she looks just as mad as me. Oh, I'm spinning the coin. The nerve of this girl. Are you kidding me right now? A little help, Abigail? I'm already on it. What is wrong with you? No, she will not give you his number. Have you ever heard of something called a privacy? Yeah, thanks for the save. Anytime. So do you want to talk about, you know? I told you, I'll be fine. Jules, everyone knows that you haven't been yourself since things went downhill between you and Holden. What do you mean? I'm exactly the same as I was when I first arrived at Seacrest. Yeah, but then you met people, fell in love. I never fell in love with Holden. Fine, whatever. Develop feelings for the college's most illegible bachelor. But the point is you opened up and let us in, but now you're shutting us out, Jules. I just never expected to feel the way he made me feel, Abigail. And now I'm just trying to find out who I am again. Well, if you ever want to talk, I'm always here for you, Jules. Thanks, Abigail. Anytime. Oh, Buck. Okay. It's been a while, Stuart. Why are you sitting here, Buck? Well, when I first heard about what happened between you and Holden, I was definitely on the bro side. Bros before hoes, right? Your words, not mine. But then I realized that I'm not just friends with Holden. I'm also friends with you, Jules. Oh. So while you and Holden are in this weird limbo, I'm doing this joint custody thing where I'm spending half my class time with you and half with Holden. Our friendship has a weird dynamic, Buck, but thank you for being there for me. Jules? That voice, the one I've dreamed about saying my name again, the one who hadn't spoken a single word to me in weeks. Okay, this is awkward. Do you have a minute? Um, sure. Buck told me that he was planning to spend time with you and I just wanted you to let you know that I'm fine with it. Thanks, how considerate of you. So what, I'm allowed to spend time with our friends because you're okay with it? Newsflash, even if you weren't, I'd still hang around with them. He narrowed his eyes at me. People usually take sides and break up jewels or whatever the hell this is. So what did you expect, me to give up all my friendships and be the only one who's miserable and alone? The script weren't wrong when they said that a heart doesn't break even. You know, I was actually looking forward to the beach party on Friday and seeing you again, but now I couldn't go less if you go or not. <laughs> okay, so... From strangers to friends, friends into lovers, to strangers again! And now apparently enemies, the way this is going. Okay, well that's great. Crap, I had forgotten all about that. Let's go again. Uh, 
There's a reason I haven't gotten off the mat and it's because we haven't taken a break in two hours. Rest is for the week. Yeah, yeah, that's coming from Jules Ice Vein Stewart. Agent Stewart, a word in my office. Uh-oh, someone's been a naughty girl. Okay, you know what, Jen? Well, no. You know that just because Tanner and his dramatic attitude are around doesn't mean that you have to adopt it? Yes, it does, girl. Yes, it does. All right, we need to talk. If you're gonna give me the whole you're not yourself speech, please just save it. Look, I know that you and the Senator Sung are no longer together, but I need to know that that won't affect the protection details that the Senator wants for him. I live right down the hall from him and when they have football practice, we have cheer practice at the same time. We're in the same classes and I follow him everywhere without his knowledge. Trust me, the mission is not in jeopardy. It's just awkward as Jules, can I give you some advice as a friend and not your captain? Not really, I don't want it. My wife and I were childhood best friends and everyone in town thought that we would get married straight after high school. What happened? I left on a football scholarship to Michigan State and she moved to California to pursue a journalism degree. When we were reunited seven years later, she was in love with another man while I was engaged to another woman. Wow, plot twist. But things worked themselves out, didn't they? Especially if your wife is your childhood best friend? Yes, I suppose they did. But the point is, Jules, that romances sometimes have awkward moments. But we move past them and in the end, we learn from them. Things may be awkward now, but eventually they won't be. Besides, just remember that the awkwardness is based off of fake romance. That should make it easier, right? Um, uh, not when the fake romance turned into real feelings. Yeah, no, not really. Thanks for the inspirational speech, Captain, but I really should be going. I've got a beach party tomorrow and the girls wanna go over with who's wearing what. Well, I'll be. I never expected those words to come out of Agent Jewel Stewart's mouth. Ha ha. I've done it again, ladies. My fashion sense cannot be matched. Okay, yeah, <laughs> all right. You need to wear that bikini to the beach party, Jules. You look hot. I have to admit, you did find the cutest bikini for Jules. I'm officially jealous. I know a certain someone who definitely won't be able to take his eyes off you. I love how she's still our friend, even though her brother hates us. <laughs> I do really love it. Meredith is right. Oh, I'm wearing it. I will wear it, yeah. It's perfect for the party. Who's texting us? Let's see. Hey, Jules. Uh, hold in. What do you want? Mm, okay. Yes? I just wanted to reach out and say, I'm really sorry I snapped at you earlier. Hmm. Yeah, your guilty conscience is eating at you, huh? That wasn't cool. Thank you for apologizing. I'm sorry too. I guess I'll say sorry too. I'm sorry too. I'm actually still looking forward to seeing you at the beach party. Really? I'm glad to hear it. Really? Yeah, I've been looking forward to it for a while. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing you. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing you too. Maybe we could find each other at the party. <laughs> oh guys, this has got a minute to talk a lot. I like that maybe. Is he gonna just say, we can be friends? Imagine that. I'd really like that. I'm so glad to hear it. See you soon, Jules. See you soon. Okay, beach party. This place is incredible. Welcome to Summer Isles Beach. We throw a party here every year. I can understand why. I've gotta go and find Rose. Apparently this has been a mix up with the food we ordered. Ugh, the signal out here is pretty bad. It was a miracle Abigail was able to receive that text from Rose. Hey. Hi. You look, wow. Nice, what a way to keep things PG. What? The tension that existed between us was so thick I could have cut it with a knife. And it was clear it wasn't only me who was uncomfortable by it. I think maybe we should talk about yesterday. And maybe us in general. I'd really like that I'm not interested. No, I'm interested. I'm interested. <laughs> yeah, I would really like that. I don't even know where to start. I really don't like how things ended between us, Jules. I don't either. Truthfully, I wish I could take back some of the things I said. I should have tried to be more understanding, but no, I don't blame you for being upset with me. I crossed the line and broke your trust. But you have to understand that I did it because I was worried. I care so much about you, Holden. I care about you too, Jules. And I miss you so damn much. I miss you too. Yeah, but it's too late. Me, I'm like, I don't give people second chances anymore. I'm like, <laughs> no. I think about you all the time. I try not to, but I can't help it. I think about you nonstop if I'm being honest. Holden, would you mind giving me a hand setting up the barbecue? Mm. Susie wants your help, hold it. Go help her. Yeah, no problem, Susie. I'm glad we talked, Jules. Me too. I have to go. I'll come find you later. Who was that? Yeah, who was that? But of course, later never came. I don't think we could have spent the day further apart from one another. Um, did I just see that girl dancing on him? Mm -hmm. We spent most of our time dancing on the sand. Eventually the sun began to set and everyone knew it was time to move the party from the beach back to the campus. Hey, Meredith said she saw you come this way. Are you okay? I'm fine, I just needed a little breather. And seeing that girl grinding on Holden all day didn't help things. You mean Susie? She used to be a cheerleader when I first came to college and this party is on her parents' private beach. Believe me, you have nothing to worry about. She's engaged to some millionaire anyway. Um, she's engaged to a millionaire yet she's grinding on Holden? 
make it make sense. <laughs> well, I guess that's a relief. Hot women shouldn't be out on their own when the sun goes down. You're a misogynist pig sometimes, Buck. As advertised, everyone's getting ready to leave. Are you guys coming? Sure. Wait a second. Let's get a picture to remember this day. As soon as the camera flashed, we heard the unmistakable splash of water from beneath the pier. What? My phone! Are you? Girl, you didn't, really? I'll get it for you. Oh, okay. As she's going in with her heels? It'll already be ruined. Hell no, I paid extra for a waterproof phone. Oh, okay, go on, girl. Oh, she's really swimming. I reached out and grabbed Abigail's phone that had landed on the rock. I steadied my feet on the rocks that covered the floor of the ocean, ready to push off and propel myself to the surface. Oh, no. The rock I was standing on slipped out beneath me, trapping my left ankle in a crevice. Yeah, because you're wearing freaking heels while you're swimming. I frantically tried over and over to wiggle my foot free, but it wouldn't budge. Guys, she's been down there a really long time, and I know that she's fit, but holding your breath underwater that long, I don't like it. Can you see air bubbles? No. Um, yeah, is anyone gonna save us? Hello? <laughs> what are you doing? Go to save his girl. Hold him. Yeah, help us. To be continued, guys, we'll be fine. We'll be fine, right? That is such a, <laughs> that was like literally what? Like why? Why? But anyways, that was that. I'm like low-key annoyed with him. But maybe like, since we're having like a near death experience, he'll like fall in love with us, you know? <laughs> Again. <laughs> but that was that episode. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you like me, subscribe down below. I love y'all. Don't forget to love yourself. Until next time, I'll see y'all later. Peace. Oats, goats. Bye.